Hello everyone, welcome to another Way in Wednesday. This is week 36. I'm usually not this good with commitments, so I'm pleasantly surprised that I've kept up with this. Um, what a effing week. <laughs> it was a lot of ups, a lot of downs, and today was even <clears throat> had its own. Um, I have flex time that happens at work, so if I work extra one day, they prefer you to take less time another day rather than take overtime. So I'm home a little bit early. Uh, I caught Mark. He was on his way out the door as I was coming in. But they gave me some time to kind of get a shower, shave, kind of relax a little bit. I still have to, like, do the dishes and play with the cat so he doesn't feel ignored. And uh, a couple other things. Then maybe I'll take a nap. But um, weigh in went well, actually. Uh, last week I didn't weigh in because I was uh, floating in fluid because I was sick for, like, three days. And I was pretty much just... A big thing of bloat so I didn't even get on the scale I wasn't even gonna fuck with my own head over that but um eating this week was good I had two nighttime dessert fixes that were at like four in the morning one was a cupcake and the other one was like two or three of these Nature Valley almond butter granola bar thingies I don't know they were good totaling it in the morning they both came out to like 2,000 calorie days because I basically had like double dessert, and I usually have about 400 calories worth of dessert every day. So that came up a little bit. But, and then another day was a 1500 calorie day, but it was mostly crap. Not too much crap, because I got an air fryer. Mark was able to get one pretty cheap. Um, I'm still testing it out, so I'm not saying they're good or bad, really. Um, and there's like a bunch of different brands now anymore. And I'm obsessed with infomercials. I will watch them on YouTube. I will watch them on TV. I record them to watch later. I don't have a lot of infomercial products. I don't know if I've ever even bought one. But I just find them fascinating. So I'm. it's cool to have the air fryer. Uh, so far I've done french fries, uh, chicken, and a couple other things in there. And it's it's been okay. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not saying anything positive or negative yet. <clears throat> so eating was what it was. It was okay. I went for a walk on Saturday for about an hour, and then my usual to and from work. I've jacked up my hip to the point where I'm gonna need to go to the doctor. My right hip hurts, and then it's spilling into my right knee, which hurts. And my right foot <clears throat> is, I think, flat at this point. Uh, I think it's from, it was always a little bit crooked. I remember as a kid, the <clears throat> wear on my rollerblades. I had a rollerblades because I was born in 82, so we're talking the 90s. I remember seeing the video Umbop from Hanson, and it made me want to get rollerblades. So uh, the one side would get worn down unevenly, probably because my legs were already starting to twist then. And uh, I don't know if it's consequences from that, but it really hurts. Uh, I can't put my knees together laying on my side, either or the hip hurts, the knees hurt. So I'm going to have to get that checked out. <clears throat> so in the meantime, activity is kind of only as necessary. But... Um, it doesn't hurt when I'm exercising, it hurts after. So we'll see. But I'm going to try to keep it up as best I can. But I don't want to injure myself. So we'll see what the doc says. I don't know. I'll keep you posted. Um, so that was that. Uh, last week I didn't weigh. Week before that I was 187. And uh, this week I got on the scale and I was 185. So my starting weight, 272. To 185 is 87 pounds lost. So we are five pounds, five pounds away from goal at the moment. So that's a good thing. Um, it's starting to dawn on me that I don't have much more weight left to lose. So I'm looking at my body in the mirror going, this is enough. This is how you're going to look. You don't need to start finding five more pounds on your thighs, on your back, on your chest, you know, on your stomach, uh, because this is... <clears throat> where eating disorder thinking kind of starts to kick in. You think you'd get less obsessed with it the closer you get to goal, and the thinner you get, you'd start to feel better and more confident. <clears throat> Lingering old eating disorder thoughts kind of dictate that you get more obsessed and less confident the closer you get, because you start to think you'd feel more satisfied with yourself and more happy. Weight loss isn't, like, a thing about, you know, being happy. Happiness comes from other places. This is more about, like, health. Um, certainly goal setting is satisfying, and when you reach a goal that you worked hard for. But, you know, the, the idea that I was going to 
like reach down and feel my hip bones and all of a sudden the heavenly hosts were going to break forth into song or something that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna happen so um non-scale victories this week uh i don't i don't recall any it's just the usual ones i've been enjoying uh pants that i had are, are too too big now uh so since i'm within like five pounds of gold we're gonna go shopping soon sal val um maybe goodwill i like goodwill better than sal val and get some new duds so I slipped into a pair of Mark's pants, which were a 33 waist, and they were European cut. I do not trust that. But we'll see. I'm going to try on it. So I'm, I'm probably like a 34 at this point, which is good. That's down eight sizes. So I'm, I'm satisfied with that. And I wasn't like stuffed into them like a sausage. All my jeans used to look like skinny jeans. So now they don't. That's cool. Um... So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I did tape a video yesterday, um, <clears throat> record, and uh, it's about addiction. It's about alcoholism and a little bit of my history with it. I tried to post it yesterday, and I was having technical difficulties. So uh, I may be posting it later tonight or tomorrow, so you might get a double header. I know you're supposed to space your shit out for viewership and whatnot. I just like to get it out there as soon as it's done before I change my mind. So, um, you might get another video tonight, or really tomorrow, but I'll probably say in the video that, um, Way in Wednesday will come after. At any rate, it's a long video, just for a heads up, it's like 20 minutes, so unless you're interested in addiction, recovery, alcoholism, or me, um, it might not be up your alley. It's not a weight loss related video, so I, I don't want to discourage anyone from watching my videos, but... I don't want you to, you know, waste your time either. So how's that for honesty? I would like to hear that from other people, especially the ones who use that effing clickbait shit. So thanks for tuning in and um, I will catch up with y'all soon. Bye.